Oh god. Crazy. Should I jump into the lake? We are here in Oslo, Norway, and I wasn't gonna actually film anything here because I've actually been quite unwell for the last few days. Most of you know I'm from Australia, and so that has kind of meant that at 24 years old, I've actually never seen snow. And well, I've been in Oslo for two days now, and there hasn't been any snow up until now. And this is something else. So I have been told it's kind of a mixture of snow and just ice because it's been here for a day, which I didn't realize. I'm heading to Tromso and Ro Rovanemi, I believe it's called. Um, and both those places are gonna be like minus 20 and definitely have snow. Um, there aren't any other plans for the rest of today. So we'll see how it goes. Um, but I'm just gonna kind of film what I do. This is a very unplanned, very spontaneous, very raw video that this is going to be. And yeah, we'll just see how it goes. If you're wondering why I'm walking, like, no offense, but a 90 year old person who has really bad hips, it's because it's ice and it is very slippery and I don't really feel like falling over right now. Also, quick shout out to a good friend of mine named Brendan. He's, uh, I'll add his tag, but I believe it's Sut Pops on Instagram and YouTube. Hey, uh, he's one of the big reasons as to why I am doing these vlog style videos on this trip. I, um, I debated about doing it for a very long time and uh, he had nagged me to do this and film it and actually get out there and actually start producing some content because what I love doing so yeah shout out to Brendan go check out his stuff he's an amazing drone pilot I uh, I will get into FPVs at some point and he does he is amazing at what he does so go check out his stuff oh my god look at this this is crazy oh my god okay just for context you guys have to understand if you're watching from anywhere else in the world outside of Australia that I just, I'm not around snow every day like these views are not what I'm used to I don't get this holy okay this look at this place this place is gorgeous look at this I could literally spend all day here. This is insane. As an Aussie whose family is in like 36 to 40 degrees Celsius, so almost 100 degrees Fahrenheit at home right now, to be able to experience this is absolutely insane. I'm gonna have to put my gloves back on because my hands are gonna freeze off holding this GoPro, but I can honestly not get over this place. This is so surreal. Everyone in Norway and like Europe's probably watching this video going, we see snow like six months of the year, what are you talking about? But like this is crazy to me. You know what I think? I reckon. If you have a look at this, this is like straight ice, right? This is straight ice. This is an Aussie's dream. Imagine just being able to walk out to your backyard, you got a slab of ice out there, chuck your six pack of beers and whatever else straight onto the ice outside. Don't need to go down to the server and buy anything or... That right there is an Aussie's dream. Now if we can just somehow figure out to get snow in 40 degree heat, we'll all be living life. I reckon it's time to fly the drone around this place and get some shots and see how it comes out. I'm a... Uh, if I can't get some good shots at this place, I am a terrible drone pilot because this place is doing all the work for me. Oh my god. Wow. Let's go.
now. Well, let me show you what I am doing now. I'm trying not to fall over while sliding against whatever this gross looking path is. I don't know why it's gone that colour, but it is awful. Plan for the rest of the day. I am walking 2.2 kilometres to the Royal Palace. After that, I've been up since 5am, so I reckon I'm going to crash. I really, honestly, I cannot get over how stunning this place is. Like, just walking around and finding, like, this is another bridge. This is completely different from the last location. Completely different. Just shake my head, this place is crazy. So, that's a lake. And my intrusive thoughts are telling me to jump in. Should I jump into the lake? My intrusive thoughts are telling me to do it. No, I really shouldn't. But I really want to. Anyway, I'm not going to. This place doesn't feel real. I feel like I'm in some winter wonderland. This is crazy. Well, despite feeling absolutely terrible, I cannot complain about today. I, uh, I've been able to see snow. I've been able to fly my drone in just the most amazing place. And uh, yeah, I am keen for lunch. It's not just me. It is so difficult to walk on this thing, it's crazy. The ice, it's just, you just slip. It's like a slip and slide, it's crazy. I'll tell you what, we are boring in Australia. Our, house, our houses are all the same, super generic. Here, at least we've got pretty colours. Alright, well I'm here at the Royal Palace. I'm about to catch up now with Dad and Andrea as they are here as well and then we are going to go and get lunch so if I don't film anything for the rest of the day catches and uh, if I do I won't have added this bit in probably and you'll see more so let's just see how it goes as I said there is no plan so if I film more I film more if I don't see you on the next one <laughs> 